everybody, it's Anne Bounty from Said With Love. I'm going to make myself a little project pouch out of these gorgeous Curiouser and Curiouser Tula Pink fabrics. So I'll um, create a little um, PDF with all the details in it. But basically there's a main panel. Now I was tempted to use one of the, um, you know, Alice or uh, the Queen or something like that. But I've got some other plans for those, so, but it would be fantastic with one of these real um, focus uh, prints. But I've got plans for that, so I'm going to use my most favourite print in the whole collection, which is this painted rose, the dripping rose, which is just gorgeous. So that's going to be the main part of my um, project pouch. Then the cute little teacups are actually going to sit up above. I've just got them pinned out so that I can um, do my quilting. So that's going to be uh, above. And then there's going to be a zip. And I'm going for a nice contrasting one. And then this is then going to be the back. And obviously I've got to trim it to size. Now I'm quilting them with the lining already attached to them. Um, so I've got to go and do lots of quilting. Um, I'm just going to do some straight line in some different directions. Obviously, I'm gonna go straight lines with the, the drippy roses. And I'm thinking I'll use that one as the binding as well. So stay tuned, I'll come back when I've uh, done my quilting. Just done some fairly quick and simple straight line quilting. I don't know, about almost a three quarters of an inch apart, uh, going up and down in the main body part. And just for something slightly different, I did it across the top. Um, of the bit that's going to be above the zipper and that's just for my OCD leanings um, it's very hard if you um, do up and down stripes on this one to match it exactly with your, your, your bottom piece so I didn't even bother trying and I've also quilted the back piece as well um, and now I'm going to trim these to size so that I can start putting it together. Just trimmed the main part, the little top section, and I've just popped my zip in just to sort of see how it's all coming together. And I'm really happy with this. Um, I tried to center that teacup as much as possible and that rose is sort of centered without being too, too fussy, but um, that's cool. So I'm gonna work on putting these pieces together, putting the zip in between these two before I trim my back section, just to make sure that I'm leaving enough space. So time to go and attach a zip. Now, I think you might've noticed that this is actually a Biani zip and it's uh, 30 inches long or something and it's got two zipper pulls. So I'm actually going to only pretty much use half of it with one zipper pull and leave the other zipper pull on the other end for another project. Um, and what I'll do first is sort of work out how long it's gonna be and I'm just gonna stitch across the end, um, across the zip so that that zipper pull can't come off and neither can this zipper pull. I'll, I'll probably do two, two lots of stitches and then cut between the stitches so that neither zipper pull is gonna go flying off and have to be uh, reattached. So that's my next step. So I've attached the um, first side of the zip and as you can see, I've um, top stitched it after I gave it a good press and folded it back. So even the inside looks pretty neat. So now I just need to do the similar thing, attaching this top section to the zipper. Okay, so here I have the finished top part of my project bag. Now I'll just trim off these extra bits of the zipper, um, both ends, but um, what I'll do then is measure up the, the backing, the back, um, just to the right size, give that a trim, and then I can attach the binding. So that's my next step. So here is the front of my project bag or case, and there is, whoops, I better turn that the correct way around um, so that the lining's on the inside. Uh, so lining's on the inside, my outer fabric is on the back, but I've cut them to the right size and I've made my binding. So basically now it is just about putting the binding all the way around and we're done. Okay, so I've got my um, binding on. I just need to now uh, hand sew it down. I've picked this lovely, beautiful Aurifil, um purple thread to 
2581 and this is what the zipper looks like there we go it's inside looking neat tidy i'm really looking forward to getting this one finished i'll show you the finished product after i've done a nice evening of binding and here is our finished zipper pouch project pouch and i'm so in love i'm so in love with these painted roses they're just beautiful so i've done my zip and i've put on one of my chula pink kitty cat uh, zipper pulls and inside is the chula pink from handmade so beautiful um inside and there's the the backing which is this lovely becomes almost a stripe this print and it's gorgeous it's got all the mad hatters tea party kind of things and what i'm going to be using um this for is to hold my epp my finished pieces so these are two of my finished pieces from the prudence quilt that i'm doing by little girl lane creations um and i'm thinking that i could actually make a smaller one i've got uh, another epp project plan that'll use this bigger one but i'm thinking i might make a smaller one for my prudence one so i might be back at the uh, sewing machine in a second i hope you enjoy this and i hope you make one too because they're nice and easy